Oh, right, guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. we got Inglorious with us tonight. Oh, yeah. We're going after the prawns because we can't go after lobsters. So stay tuned. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! What well, we're doing, guys, we're just wading through the water at the moment, just in search of any bass or anything else that's around, any sort of fish species or even a lobster. It's when the tide's moving out like this. A lot of creatures are just in the surf and the lobsters are trying to outrun the tide. So that's the plan. If not, we're going after the giant prawns. <laughs> Runaway brown crab. This water is absolutely gin clear tonight. We're going to be able to see the prawns well. Fingers crossed. We can fit them all in the bucket. And glorious with a nice brown edible crab there. Bit small for what we want though. Oh yeah, we want a nice big one. <laughs> oh yeah. Little cork ring. Yeah. Top of a little spot on the back there. Pretty little creatures there. This just shows how fast that tide moves out. You can see the pull of the tide moving the water. And that's why the bass love it around here. It's just washing all the bait out. And they're in, in amongst these boulders, just snacking on it. Little long legged spider crab there. It was nice to find these. But we're not finding those really big prawns yet. A couple. It's always good just to work your way along the weed edge like this, guys. Because usually, with the tide being so strong, they try and anchor down a little bit. Got a couple of good ones in there. It's a good start to the night. And Doris has been doing some work. <laughs> I've got a few in here. Pretty those are some better ones. Yeah, those are the eaters, eh? No. Those are little fish, little cork wings and stuff. Oh, some nice ones in there. Yeah, it's not bad. They just running along the edges there on that reef. That's a nice one in there. Look. It's fascinating, eh? I love it. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find. We could find pipe fish tonight. There's a couple of little rats in there, though, not Yeah. I think Dan's found a nice fish. Lovely little rat. Oh yeah. That's a cork wing. Yeah. Look at the pretty colours on that. Awesome. It's like a little rainbow fish. Yeah. We know him go. Yeah. He just shot out the wheat there. <laughs> nice. Run along looking for shrimps. <laughs> We've been around the lobster area now guys, so we're gonna start making our way to the prawn grounds. Hopefully we get some of those big five inches that we get last time. The last one. It's getting bigger. Hello? And then Glorious has got a little baby Pollock. Oh, oh look at that. That's a pretty little fish, eh? Beautiful. Nice. Well, done. Yeah, and all we're going, guys, all we're doing, guys, is going along the edge of the weed here. Like you're seeing Glorious doing there. And often you can pick up some really big prawns. Yeah. The, the, the infamous conger eel. Slimy. He's not happy. No. Finding the species today though. Seems to be a lot of fish around. There he goes. Straight back home. Go. This right here, that's called the scorpion fish. And often they've got gold or blue underneath them. We've got a couple of species here as well, bud. Yeah. yeah check this out. Finding a few bits, that's for sure. So I believe that's some sort of rockling. Yeah, that's a rockling. There? Yeah, a common rockling that. Beautiful little fish. Yeah. And then I've also got what I believe is a ballam ras. Oh, there's a prawn in there. Grab that big boy. Nice. It's on? all about that bacon. He's yeah. down there at the bottom. So there's the ballam ras. Oh yeah, nice green one, eh? Juvenile ballam ras. Beautiful. Oh, these little fish. Getting back. And we've got a couple of prawnos in here. We've got nice. three, I think. There's quite a few. The prawns will get bigger as we head to the other spot, guys. We've got a fair few already, to be fair. So we're building them up. Okay. Yeah, that's more like it. Nice. Come on, find those jumbos. Lovely juicy prawn there. 
delicious. Definitely got a few better ones in here. We're starting to get to the better spots now, as you can see. It's a lot bigger stamp. And we've got a few of them in here as well. That was a good little haul. Look at the size of those ones down. Oh yeah, those are the ones you want. Yeah, big little, they're like little lobsters. <laughs> Lovely job. We found the prawns. Now it's time to go on a mission. Did you get them? Yep. Nice. These are what you get a meal out of, that's for sure. Certainly building them up. Starting to hit some good ones here, guys. That's more of the stamp that I'm looking for. But as, as always, at the end of the trip, we'll go through them all, take all the little ones out, and all the rest will be eaten. Oh, there's a few big ones in here. Oh, nice. Got a little haul of them in there. It's quite a few big ones. Check those ones out, guys. Some really nice prawns. We don't lose them all back in the water. Beauties. Out oh, there's a chunker. We haven't had no real mammoth ones yet, but if we're getting these all the time, I'm more than happy. I don't know if you can see in there, but that, <sighs> not a bad brown crab. <laughs> That's not a bad brown crab at all, that. Definitely not legal, but it's the biggest one of the night. Nice male as well. Hopefully, we can get a keeper. I'll put him back in his home. Nice solid crab that as well. We're definitely starting to get to the good spot now. Starting to find a lot more prawns. It's another long legged spider crab there. All camoed up. Oh yeah. He flew into your net. Oh yeah. You can see them under there. There's a lot of prawns around this side, that's for sure. Another one? Beautiful, and you can find anything doing this, guys. All different creatures. Look at that. I'm starting to get a few. That's a big old Orma. That's a beaut, that, eh? Yeah, it's on that one. Yeah. Come on, January. <laughs> Lovely little Balan Rass, eh? Nice camo colour. We got a few more prawns. The water's very murky this side, so I'm struggling to find the prawns, but I'm just gonna work the net through the rocks and hopefully we can get a few more. Now the water's a bit more murky this side, eh? I thought it'd be clear. So, we've got a good, good little batch there. Let's try and get a few more, and we're good to go. So there we go, guys. We've finished shrimping now. We've got some good ones in there. So what I'm gonna do is go home, cook them all up, We'll make a nice meal out of this. Delicious. Let's get the seaweed out. Thank you. Yeah, it's not bad, eh? There and you go. Sandwich. Yeah, I don't know what to do, mate. There's some good ones. Yummy. We finally made it back. back. Nets are on the bike. Thanks for popping along, mate. No worries, mate. I enjoyed it. As I said at the start of the video, guys, I'll leave the link to Dan's channel in the uh, description. Happy days. We've got prawns. Oh, yeah, it's not bad, mate. That's a sandwich all day long. Yeah. Happy days. So all we're doing for this guys, we've got our prawns here and all I've got is some boiling water here. I put some sea salt in and all we're gonna do is just grab a handful and then we're gonna cook them all up and we're gonna cook them all up ready for tomorrow. It's now like half one in the morning so it's a bit late for me to just start eating prawns. Our water is almost on a boil now. 
So what I'm going to do, they're quite easy to get when they're in bundles like this. So just grab a handful and straight into the water and instantly they'll start going orange. Oh yeah, lovely fresh big prawns. Some of these are beauties. For Guernsey anyway, we don't get like giant prawns here. We get They get bigger than this, but this is a good average guys. So I'm going to finish off chucking these in the pan now. And we'll get them out and eat them tomorrow. There is actually a little fish in here. It's a little baby wrasse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an aerator in here tonight. I'm going to take him back down the beach tomorrow. It's going to be my little friend overnight. <laughs> good note you don't have to cook prawns very long at all these will be cooked already so I'm just going to give them another few seconds we'll take them out so basically as soon as they hit the boiling water I'll give them about three minutes or four minutes and that will be plenty to cook prawns this size There you go guys, that's our lovely cooked shrimps there, or prawns, they're actually local prawns but uh, I, I, I always end up calling them shrimps, <laughs> I don't know why, but it is what it is, there we go, some nice ones in there, decent amount for a little cook up, so I'll see you in the morning. We got the little fish here guys, Chasey's going to set it free, the smash is probably going to chase him, go on into it. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. Just a few winkles left, eh, mate? Yep. And now they're free forever and Smash is swimming. <laughs> He's Smash. Sorted. Now we're going to be taking out some rubbish. Yeah, that sounds good. Beach clean. We are back in the kitchen now, guys. It's really late. I'm having a late night snack. We've got our prawns, so what I'm going to do is de shell them. Now make something out of these delicious little morsels. For the people that don't know, how you peel a prawn, just pull the head off, get your thumbnail underneath where the legs are, and you can pull it round about halfway and just squeeze the tail. And that will pop out the rest of the meat. Beautiful. So what we got guys, we got two slices of bread. We're gonna make up some Mary Rose sauce with a little bit of lettuce. We're gonna have a good old prawn Mary Rose sandwich late night and I really need to stop eating the prawns as I uh, peel them because I've eaten too many. But hey, we still make our sandwich and it will taste good. So all I'm doing for this guys, got my prawns there. I'm making a mess. I'm just gonna put a little bit of mayo in there and a little touch of tomato sauce, then some good old black pepper. And give it a good old stir up. And that is it. Literally just mix that up. Make sure you don't mix up too much sauce. And that's good as it gets. So all I'm gonna do is get some butter, butter my bread. So there we go. Got our bread ready. We just pour our prawns on. As you can see, I've eaten too many, but still gonna have a bit of meat in there. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is just break off some lettuce leaves. So we got a bit of rabbit food on the go. And this is it, nice fresh sandwich, fresh prawns. You can't go wrong with that. 
What about do? Let's cut it in half and we'll devour it. Word to the wise, don't drop a knife on your foot because it hurts. <laughs> so there you go guys, check that bad boy out. I could have done with more prawns admittedly, but I guarantee it's going to taste good. Delicious. So there we go guys, one prawn merry roast sandwich with a bit of lettuce. Delicious, simple but effective at two in the morning. <laughs> I love that bit of pepper. Gives it a little bit of a kick. It's delicious. The weather's been absolutely pants lately, so we've just been trying to get out when we can. Hence the reason we went prawn forage and we were all like, bugger it. See if there's any big ones around and try and make a quick video while the storms are here. But hey, we will be back. Mmm. It's a very refreshing sandwich. And like fresh wild prawns like that, they almost taste like lobster. They're not like the ones that you buy frozen in the packet because they're quite watered down. Like if that's all you can get, then that's all you can get. But um, if you can get wild ones, oh. That's absolutely delicious. Perfect for two in the morning and we're gonna go Try and catch some bass, hopefully. So this would be a nice little bit of uh, good luck charm. Mm. So I won't need the video any longer, guys. I've got bits of prawn stuck in my teeth. If you want any merch, the link's in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Always helps the videos. Check that beast out. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo! Mmm.